Hello, this is Douglas Rumbaugh, and this is episode 4 of my Linux Terminal tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about a couple of new commands, the echo command, the cat command, and the less command, what they do and what you can use them for. These are all, I like to call them um, file operators, just because they operate on, fi on files, specifically text files, or can be used to operate on text files. Alright, start with echo. Now what echo does is it takes what you say and repeats it to you. See, I echo hello, and then hello is printed right there. Now a couple of notes with echo is that echo doesn't care about spacing. So if you were to type and add spaces, it'll print it all out just fine. That's it's different from a lot of other commands where a uh, space separates different operators within the command so you can't have them but e strangely enough even though echo doesn't care about spacing you'll notice that it didn't print out the quotation marks this is because on the script and in bash which is what the script is based on whoops, the quotation marks they bring things together, they allow you to ignore spaces. So if you had a, uh, tell you what, we'll just do this. All right. So now there's test file. Now if I were to try and nano into test file, I would get, I wouldn't enter test file. I just get test and I get file. Nano opens a file called test and a file called file. But if I were to nano and, and use quotation marks instead, you'll notice I'm in test file. It's because, as I said earlier, earlier, spaces separate individual commands or file names and whatnot. So quotation marks tell the script to ignore any spaces in there. Consequently, quotation marks are not printed by echo. If you want to print the quotation marks, you have to use an escape character which is a backslash so you have to stick that before your quotation marks and now the quotation marks get printed although interestingly enough the uh, backslashes are not and if you would maybe yeah you can use two black backslashes if you want to print one so what good is echo well in bash scripting it's useful but for the average user it's really a convenience thing what happens is echo on a tec techni technically it just takes the what you give it as an input and that input becomes the output what this means in practice is that there are you can use the arrows to feed echo commands into a text document what happens is the one arrow, well, I don't know what you call them, I'm just going to call it an arrow, that will take the output and feed it into a file overwriting everything in the file, and two of them back to back will take the output, feed it into a file, placing it at the end. So you I have a file here called test which says hello I'm just gonna delete every all the contents of text test save those changes so if I were to say echo hello if I can type my name is Douglas and then two arrows to append it test okay so now if I nano into test you'll notice hello my name is Douglas is present If I were to say echo hello two arrows into test test you'll see it got added on to the end. However, if I were to echo hello with just one into test and now go nano into test, that hello has overwritten everything in the file. So you do want to be careful and ensure that you if you want to overwrite the contents you use one arrow, but if you don't you need to use two. That's especially um, 
important because, and I'll touch on this in a later tutorial, but some distributions don't automatically put your user in the sudoers file and a lot of people will use echo to insert their name into the sudoers file. You want to be very careful if you're going to do something like that that you use the two arrows otherwise you're going to completely screw up your con configuration file and you'll have to probably reinstall sudo which is not a good thing. Alright <coughs> so next we're going to talk about cat. Now what the cat command does is it takes a file and makes it the output. So if we were to cat test it prints hello. That's because our test, the file test says hello in it. So all it did is it took the contents of hello and it printed them onto the screen. You can use cat in the same way. So you could do cat test and then feed it into a file like test1. So now if we go into test1 it's going to say the exact same thing that test did. The last command that we're going to talk about today is the less. Now less on its own doesn't really do anything. But what you can do with it is if you have a long text document like here I have a uh, to-do document that just lists some things that I need to work on for my new Arch Linux thing, Arch Linux ins install. If I were to use cat to read the contents of to-do, you see it prints it all out like that. But if my terminal were smaller, you can see where you'd run into an issue because you need to scroll to see the whole th document and on um, on the virtual terminal that I'm using right now that's not a problem but if you were to be using <coughs> excuse me if you were to be using a command line interface there's no scroll bar so if the contents of your document take up more room than there is screen space to display the document you can't see the top half of it this is especially bad for um, particularly long help documentations. You know how some commands you can do minus minus help and it will give you uh, information about it. If you're logged into the command line interface like in Arch Linux for example that's pretty much how you do all the installation and everything. You need less. So I'm going to do this again and then I'm going to use press shift backslash and it creates this line. I forget what it's called. But what that does is it lets you run two commands at once. So it will it will take to do well cat to do so it's out this first half is outputting the contents of to do and feeds that into less. And what less does is it lets you scroll up and down in the command line as if you had a scroll bar and that this will work in a command line interface where there really isn't a scroll bar and you hit Q to exit. There's one, there's an, another command I think it's called more which does the, much the same thing except less is more. Um, less is newer and better it has more features and works better than more does so you probably won't need to use more ever alright so just a quick review echo takes the input and makes it the output cat outputs the contents of a file less gives you a scrollable we'll call it a navigable version of the input the line allows you to take the output from one command and make it the input of another. One arrow lets you take the output and overwrite the contents of a file with it and two commands takes the output or two commands, two arrows takes the output and appends the output to the end of a specified file. Alright that's been episode 4 
of my Linux command line tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon.